day everyone welcome to global academy institute technology foundation incorporated our lesson for second quarter week one is ionic bonding this type of bonding is referred as ionic bonding an ionic bond involves complete transfer of electrons thus ions are formed an ion is an atom that has acquired a charge by losing or gaining electrons in order to achieve the stability of a noble gas. If the atom loses electrons, it will have more protons than electrons and thus have a positive charge. If the atom gains electrons, it will have more electrons than protons and will carry a negative charge. Figure 4. Cation and an ion formation do you know what electronegativity means? Electronegativity is a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract electrons. The higher its value, the higher its tendency to attract electrons. How about ionization energy? Ionization energy is the energy needed to pull or remove one or more electrons from a neutral atom. The lower the ionization energy, the easier it is to remove its valence electrons. The transfer of an electron creates ion, negative cations, positive charge, and an ion's negative charge. An opposite charge attracts each other. Furthermore, ionic bonding involves metals with low electronegativity and nonmetals with high electronegativity. This kind of chemical bond only exists between metals and nonmetals. Also, the best way to do in choosing the combination that will form ionic bond is by computing the electronegativity difference between the two elements. A combination which has an electronegativity difference of above 1.9 will result to ionic bond. However, not all metal, non-metal combinations will result in an ionic bond. The best example of a metal, non-metal combination which do not result to ionic bonding is ALCL because the electronegativity difference is only 1.5. Thus, instead of ionic bond, the chemical combination formed a polar covalent bond. Thank you for listening everyone. God bless.